Good morning, welcome along to the vlog. Well, I say good morning because I'm releasing the video in the morning, but it's actually quarter to four in the afternoon because I finished the brew day. That's the third one I've done this week. Um, I know I said on the last video that I'd be doing another brew day video, but I just kind of got stuck into it and did it, you know? So it is what it is. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody as well for the support on the last video. Those kinds of videos take a lot of time to shoot because obviously uh, I have to set the camera up on manual mode for each individual shot. Whereas when I'm doing the vlog style like now, I've just basically got the camera in my hand and um, I have it on aperture priority and the camera takes care of the rest. So yeah, thanks for your support. It was a really good video. I enjoy making that kind of video though. Really nice, isn't it? Uh, we'll be doing some more. Uh, Tom, the chef, wants to do some for the kitchen on a similar vein, so I think we'll definitely be going down that route. And maybe one or two for the pub once we reopen. So, today I brewed the proof of concept. It's been a pretty flawless brew day. All three brews have gone really well quite seamless actually and uh, we're just knocking out now into the fermenter this is going into FV3 you might be able to see up there as well we've got the tilts back on I'm still having a bit of problem picking up the uh, Bluetooth low energy signal uh, we're using a repeater on each tank but as you can see there should be a blue one up there we've only got the black and the green so maybe that's something I'll look into in the future. It's not that important right now. Uh, we've also picked up some racking. I say picked up, we had it delivered this morning. So uh, it's the pallet racking stuff that you're probably familiar with. I'll just flip round so it's easier on my arm. There we go. So that stuff there was delivered six meter uprights and uh, 2.7 meter uh, inserts horizontals so what I did was order there's one up there as well look I ordered three uprights and then we cut them in half and that there as you can see is a three meter half well actually one of them is 3.1 and the other one's 3.4 so they're slightly taller those taller ones may not fit against that wall but that means from three uprights we've ended up with enough material to make six bays and then I ordered 12 horizontals so there'd be enough to put two shelves on each bay Robert's your mother's brother so a bit more shuffling around to do but we definitely needed the storage space for boxes and stuff like that. So I have to move um, this area here and possibly move the timber rack and then we'll be able to fit another one there which will give us space up above. Fail that, I've got to make a shelf for that one too, but fail that, I'm thinking about popping one here. So it covers the pilot kit and whatnot and it'll give me a bit of space to store things such as fermenters you know the plastic style up on top there we go that's a plan anyway so let's just have a quick peek in the fermentor no the brew kettle we will have a look in the fermenter though if you like <laughs> what's going on there we go so we've got both elements exposed so we're just about to finish the knockout here which isn't very far away at all and then in the fermenter let me just uh well, i've got to remove that anyway but if i unlock my phone and we put the camera on the phone you'll be able to see you'll be able to see inside because I have to put the light on it you see 
There we go. And there we are. You can now see inside the tank. Uh, there we go. Well, that's it. Not much to see really because it is actually quite full. Well, there's a little bit of a sneak peek inside the fermenter. Right, anyway, let's close that up. I can hear water trickling onto the floor, which tells me that the HLT is overflowing. Yes, it is. So that means I have to open that tap and open that tap. And now this is the point where we've collected as much hot water as possible and we're still required to chill down the beer. It's coming out at 19.5 degrees, which isn't bad because today the tap water was 17, 16, 17 degrees. So we're really uh, quite efficient with this plate chiller. But yeah, as I was saying, because we've collected 570, 585 litres of hot water now from chilling this beer down, and we've still got a little ways to go, this water, unfortunately, is going to be wasted and it's going to have to go down the drain. But one thing this does do is it cleans the drain out. So that water is going in there uh, around 79 degrees. So it's going to clean that drain for sure. Right, I think that I'm close enough to that tank being empty for me to get ready to clean up. So I'm going to say goodbye on this vlog and clean the kit up. It is Saturday after all, so I'd like to go home and spend what's left of the afternoon with the family lamb. Uh, so we'll see you on the next one, though, folks. Thank you very much, like I said, for um, all the support on the last video. And thanks again for all the support on Patreon and everything else that you guys have done to help us get through this horrible... COVID-19 uh, hospitality shut down. Hopefully we're on the way out the other side now. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Cheers. You try to make yourself feel better by taking me down. Once I fell, but now I'm strong, I'm ready for the rematch. Yeah, you said the chairs were too far away, didn't you?